Welcome to conversation number 15. In this conversation, we'll be asking the question, how is Jesus' kingship beneficial? Here's the answer that we're going to explore. King Jesus frees us from our misguided self-rule, and Christians alone have the benefits of forgiveness of sins and everlasting life with God. King Jesus, glory spreads throughout the world, benefiting the rest of creation too. Now, let's take that answer and break it down into smaller pieces. The first part of our answer says that King Jesus frees us from our misguided self-rule. Misguided self-rule, that's kind of a funny and interesting phrase, isn't it? Self-rule means simply that we do things our way. We do what we want, how we want, when we want. And this is kind of very typical in a society and times in which many of us hold high our individuality and independence and many of us definitely don't want to be told what to do by someone else we want to do it our way our way or the highway but this is what we would call misguided so what is misguided self-rule then it means that we end up doing things our way but it turns out to be a disaster and that's super true when it comes to trying to live our own way without God, when we try to do things without him and we think that we can accomplish and, and do everything on our own, we don't need God. But the thing is, spiritually speaking, more so than anything, uh, it turns out to be a disaster. But the good news is this. Jesus frees us from our misguided self-rule by teaching us to live for God instead of ourselves. Why? Because God knows us better and he knows what is better for us than we do ourselves. And so the first answer, or the first part of our answer says, King Jesus frees us from our misguided self-rule. But from that, as having Jesus as our king by faith, there are two huge benefits that we have from this. And our answer tells us that one of those two benefits is that Christians alone have the benefit of forgiveness of sins. What does that mean? Well, it simply means that everything that we've ever done wrong in our life, the wrong things we've done to other people, the wrong things that we've done to God, all the big mistakes that we have made, all of those things that we call sin are forgiven. That means that God forgets them. He no longer holds it against us. The same way someone might forgive a debt that you've raked up to someone. He forgets them and doesn't hold against us. And this is why the Bible tells us that there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. So when we make him our king, a huge benefit is that our sins are forgotten, they're wiped away. And this is why we certainly can call the gospel of Jesus the good news. But that's not the only benefit. Our answer tells us there's another huge benefit, and that is Christians alone have the benefit of everlasting life with God. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that when we place our faith in Jesus Christ to be our Lord, Savior, and King, God invites us to be part of his family, the family of God, and to live with him forever. See, we're all adopted into this family by faith. And when we do, when it guarantees us everlasting life, it means that no matter what happens to our bodies, we will never be alone again. We will be in heaven with God. And we will never have to feel pain. We'll never have to suffer. We'll never be hungry. We'll never thirst. We will have a new glorified eternal life with God. That, again, is why we can call it the good news. But our answer has one more big part. It says that King Jesus' glory spreads throughout the world. Now, how? How does that happen? It spread through what we call the gospel and through those who are Jesus' followers. That is, those of us who call Jesus our Savior, our King, we have a responsibility to spread the gospel. And when the gospel is shared and when more people become followers of Jesus, that means that God's glory spreads as well. Because when we're doing things in God's name, when we are following God's commands, when we are on mission for God and fulfill that mission, we're doing everything to bring him glory. Because we give credit to God first and foremost. He alone deserves the glory. We accomplish what we accomplish because of what God has accomplished. So, we spread the glory of God throughout the world. And what does this do? It benefits the rest of creation. 
It's not just believers who benefit from King Jesus' glory, but those who don't believe, as well as creation in general, also benefit from this glory. See, when believers help the poor, when we help the sick, and when we help the hungry, it further, again, spreads the glory of God. When Christians stand up for what is right, everyone benefits from King Jesus' glory. When those who place their faith in Jesus take care of God's creation, again, creation benefits from his glory. So, let's take our whole answer in again. We're asking the question, how is, king, how is Jesus' kingship beneficial? King Jesus frees us from our misguided self-rule, and Christians alone have the benefits of forgiveness of sins and everlasting life with God. King Jesus' glory spreads throughout the world benefiting the rest of creation too. Now, at this time, we encourage you to walk through the continuing the conversation handout with your family and join us this week as we worship the King.